this is going to be a interesting collection of uh, scenes put together to depict where I'm at. This is my upstairs office I'm working on. This I feel like this is out of order. We need an intro. There's T. This is the bunk bed, balcony, whatever. Do we have a story to tell? We have a big story to tell. Man, where to begin? Uh, with everyone home with the virus, basically everyone's computers wound up getting flip-flopped. I wound up shoving the system with our 6-core and 1070 in there just as a placeholder case I got from a friend um, and just set myself up a little makeshift office in my room because we all kind of need our space. You guys get to see my room. I know that's been like a thing. Yeah. My daughter has actually taken over the best rig in the house, which was my fiance's. I'm kind of working on between this and upstairs. And I've been in this house for how many months now? Six, seven? Yeah. So everyone else has been in quarantine for a couple of weeks. And we're going to talk about this area because I used to have four monitors and it was a really cool thing. And there was an issue with this dude, this guy, not him. He didn't care. He was cool with it. He liked to crawl behind monitors and knock them over and make things bananas and give me stress. So I'm going to redo this, switch things around. Um, I'd like to, you know, display this a lot better. I actually did new work in here. I haven't even shown. But actually, today is like, I'd say a little bit less about um, the PC stuff. And more about the story and where I'm at next. Like, I'm never going to stop doing PCs. Um, that's just what it is. Because I enjoy it. I think I'm decent at it. People um, who receive my rigs are really, really happy after three or four years of doing this. And there's a point to the story. Oh, yeah. How'd I get here? How? Why am I in quarantine for six months when everyone's only been in quarantine for like two weeks? So, oh, God, I got to flip the camera around. So I don't know if anyone noticed, I lost a lot of weight. I had to buy all new clothes. It wasn't that big to begin with, but um, basically, long story short, I have a horrible case of IBS. I've been on a ton of medication, and these past six months, I've actually had to get off some of that medication I've been on my entire life, pretty much, um, because my stomach's just a wreck. I'm in the bathroom sometimes, four hours a day, and it kind of wrecked my entire life. I mean, fortunately, I am... Not my entire life. Fortunately, I'm able to put in time with the house, the family. I was working construction, and I basically, you know, handyman and odd jobs had to give that up. So fortunately, um, I'm very lucky enough that I was able to have a little bit of a savings to float on right now. I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do next. Uh, we like the PCs, right? We like the PCs. Um, I don't see it as hugely like, you know, business income driven thing, more of a passion thing. Uh, I'd love to work with a bigger company and maybe bring in some dough, but I'm not a, your average YouTuber who's just going to like throw ads and stuff. I'm not, a, I'm not good at that. I'm more of an artist and a builder. I don't like selling myself very much. Sitting on my butt for the last six months, I've had to reach it. Basically, I was getting like five hours of sleep a week because my stomach was so bad. So, you know, when you lose sleep, things get pretty bad uh, mentally. Um, I was able to get off two medications. Three, you said? Did I really? Two. I was able to get off a bunch of medications um, I've been on since forever, and maybe I didn't need in the first place. It's on all this crap since I was young. And I've sat in a chair for the last six months and somehow developed abs and lost weight. And I, uh, I have a really strict diet, a dietitian, a lot of doctors I follow up with. And basically, like, everything I eat hurts me except for, like, really plain meat. And we're just kind of working it from there. And it's been, yeah, about six months for me now of quarantining myself from, you know, spending money, going out for anything, uh, eating anything out of the house, and I've been pretty, you know, sparse with the friends and social stuff, too. You know, I'll stay in the house for, or in the property in an area for days on end, you know. You know the problem. I want to work with that. You know, I'm doing my best here. TC's how healthy I'm trying to get. This has been, like, a full-time, all-day effort. My diet's down to, like, only what the dietitian says. Uh, my sleep's back to normal, finally. 
I wasn't like dreaming right and regenerating right with some of this medication at a certain point. And instead of going up and up and up and making me more dazed, I was able to reel it in. But uh, stomach's still a wreck. I got the color red coming out of me. We won't go beyond that description. That's probably quite enough already. Quite enough already. The point is, uh, Polytech's expanding. That's right. We have no money, no health, <laughs> no hope, no way to leave the house. Kind of sucks because now the weather's nice, really. It's the unfortunate part. I'm going to have to build a ramp in my backyard to skate. Maybe. That's what we got to do. <laughs> but um, actually, what we really wanted to share is the cool news um, that we're starting a new project. Um, T's going to help me out, and I'm going to be the creator. Yeah. Yeah. What's it <laughs> do you want to say what it's called? Or should I just say we're starting a game company. I say we're starting a game company. I mean, we have, me and my daughter and T have designed a few games we really like. Um, one in particular that we really, we have a passion to make and it's a high-end VR game. So it's probably not what we're gonna start with. But, you know, I have all these freaking computers I built um, that I'm re I have like four at this point that we actually, we fight over, believe it. Somehow there's four of us. There's three of us and we fight over four computers. Yeah, kind of. So that way I'm not a, uh, I'm not really inclined to, you know, keep doing really physical hardcore work with my life at this point. Um, I'd like to keep, you know, physical and doing stuff. Oh, we're gonna go over the truck too. I forgot, I have tons of footage on the truck. My bathroom fell apart, my truck fell apart. I did some footage on all of that. So I think at the end of this, we're just gonna have like a montage of truck footage in addition, but. Starting a game company, and I've been doing art uh, about two, three weeks now. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna show you the screen like a noob until I get my gifts made. So this is my character design for an RPG. Kind of a twist, but very classic. My favorite game is Chrono Trigger. And I feel like no games really capture that. And I'm not trying to copy it, you know, I'm trying to do my own thing. But yeah, we're going to start a, a game design firm. You know, to be able to do this amount of work in the short amount of time I did, I think there's something here. Pixel art's coming back. I, I haven't been able to draw in like 10 years. And the fact that I can actually draw with a mouse makes me feel great. Yeah, I think there's a cool character. This is the main character. His name is Beta, also known as the Firestarter. I'll be putting out some gifts soon. These are just some enemies. Here's a little sheet of everyone dancing and jumping. Um, I got some level design and stuff, but uh, yeah, you know, it's become more accessible. Um, and the big hurdle for me was always coding. And nowadays there are logical nodes and things and ways to get around it without coding. There's, uh, there's just so much. Look at all these layers I did. This is kind of nutty. So you can give him commands and whatnot. So I'm gonna try this while we're locked inside, um, while I've been pretty isolated anyway and trying to take care of my diet and my health and get my body back to normal without just like losing all my weight and not being able to retain any nutrition. I got this little project, you know? Just that. We got him bouncing idle. Let's say yes. Okay, how about a jump? Jump for me. Thanks, buddy. How about a dodge? You got a dodge? Oh, he's got a dodge. So I, admit, I put this little funny guy here. I don't know why. And, you know, I actually, this is a story I've been thinking up in my head for many, many years and decided, oh, this would be perfect for our first game. I'm going to do a little episodic RPG type thing. And you can do layers and add fire. Fire layer. Here's a food layer. Uh, here's a flint shard that he can use as a weapon. So, and these are some of my earlier prototypes. I don't know, is that stupid just showing them on the screen? I haven't like boiled them down into like thumbnails and GIFs yet that are gonna be shown. It's all good, it's all raw. This is my muse, ladies and gentlemen. This is the beautiful, beautiful lady who's not only beautiful and intelligent, but when I say, I'm gonna do this crazy thing, she says, yes, please, go for it. Please. <laughs> Yeah, well, and hope, you know, if everything works out, when you email Polytech Games, this is who you'll reach. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, 
But you can see, like, this for the main character, I've got quite a few layers going, and there's still quite a few more to do. Uh, I think this game's just going to have a ton of sprites, because I, I love cranking them out. I haven't even shown it here. Let me do some uh, level design. So here's a cool set. This is a rock tile set I did. It's totally my own. I mean, obviously inspired by other games and artists, but um, this basically gives me the ability to build levels out of this. You can see the little dudes for scale. That's before I put an outline, I think. So, everyone's going to get to see another side of me, but I want to keep this as a Polytech thing. I don't want to start from scratch again. So Polytech uh, builds games and computers. Because um, why not? It's hand in hand. I do plan on releasing games primarily for the PC, but I'm not opposed to just porting them to anything else possible. I mean, obviously, if the platform can't handle it, that's that. But uh, PC first, you know, Steam, things like that. And you got a gradient scale, too, which is kind of cool. I don't know how well this is coming up. I don't want to just more than this yet, because this is still a tour video. We're still supposed to be touring. Uh, what's next on the tour? Um, visual creation design? We're going to switch everything up? Oh, well, we kind of went over that. The issue with the cat. Um, yeah. That was a thing. So we got a bunch of... This is part of our... This is one of the projects we're going to... By the way, I made this many, many years ago. It's a piece of resin. It actually fell in a really bad... It fell in the garage in a really terrible way. And I was able to kind of patch it up and use it one last time. Um, we're going to move everything around. We're going to have these on arms and everything. And then the idea is we're actually going to build... A little shelf along here, halfway up, right above the TV. By the way, if you don't want to pay a lot for a TV bracket, just find some of this stuff. Um, we're going to build a shelf. And then that shelf is going to have like a little shutter system in front of it. So the computer, the screens are all closed up. And the captain over here can't go destroy mode. By the way, this is NAR with a G, named after the character from League. Um, which was a mistake, <laughs> naming him that because he breaks cities. He is a Meganar. He weighs eight times more than he looks like he does. And this is Bones, who is seldom on the channel, but he's the OG cat of the house. Good boy. He's my little predator. He's like an assassin, hunter, stealthily. He's like Batman. He's like, okay, cool. I'm gone now. Off to research. You know, we still run a laptop. Um, this is a touchscreen. I have way, way too much money invested in PC crap, but God, do we use it, right? We really do. And, you know, if you're going to be stuck somewhere for days on end, this is kind of a cool studio to be in, to have kind of inherited this space and built all this shit in it. Built all this stuff in it. I'm not supposed to say the shit. And what a guitar nut I am and how, you know, trying to play music again. And, like, there's just too much going on. <laughs> A friggin' rake on my truck. Who did that? I did that. On my bully bar, really? On my powder coating? Yeah. No, I know. So she's done, pretty much. Like I still have some work to do, painting the front side of the frame, but the most, for the most part, it's done. Frame's been hit with the POR15 and uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, some uh, very heavy wax spray, very heavy uh, wax coating. You can feel it's like tacky on there. And, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I flipped the shackle, which was rusted, like practically destroyed. So we drilled out the frame there, put a new shackle hanger, and then I put a longer flip shackle, which now goes, you know, other direction. A little bit of stiffer ride, but a nice firm height. Um, I had to upgrade the shocks to a longer travel length, which, uh, these just kind of worked out price-wise and that length, which are double reservoirs, so they're awesome. You can really bang on the back end for sure. Wheels are spaced out an inch and a half to accommodate the lift, which I think uh, kind of just right. I had to do a little 
little plastic trimming, which I'm still working on, but it went pretty well. Coupe de Gras was the winch, which I'd like to get a second battery for. Um, license plate was a pain in the arse to mount, but she's done now. All my decal work's done. No, no uh, actual Silverado or Chevy on it anymore. You know, this truck was a very young, expensive truck. You know, for a guy like me, second owner, it was kind of expensive. Um, I was actually really disappointed after my 8,000 mile road trip how fast this thing just rusted and fell apart the next winter. So I'm glad I got in there. I literally took the whole bed off. And this frame all the way back. Oh, the other thing I did was... I mean, obviously, I upgraded this at one point. This isn't a stock bumper at all. I gotta paint those. They're crap. Uh, I upgraded the winch because my old one, with everything, got pulled down. It was bent out pretty bad. So this is upgraded. Painted everything. At least one coat for now. But, you know, super cleaned it first. Um, did the metal treatment on the frame and all that. 15XX. Uh, did the fender flares at one point. That's gonna kind of protects the edge too, which is nice and makes it legal to have the butted out wheels because you know they're with the bodywork now. Uh, what do we got? Fox coilovers. That happened. That was one of the first things. Control arms got upgraded. Upgraded control arms were rubbing, and due to the rubbing, we went with. I don't think you can even see them in there, but these wheels are spaced out. You can kind of see it there. Spaced out an inch and a half to accommodate. Um, and that was actually the perfect go a little this, go a little up, go a little out until everything lined up. New bumpers, awesome. Uh, what else can I say? She looking fresh, I think. And it rides great. It rides, it rides stiff and firm, but not a, not a creek in it. You know, just super airy. Very, very very uh b -b -b firm confident not creaky not crappy like chevy made it what would you call the ride you haven't really been in it like over a curb or anything when you hit something and it doesn't max out oh it's a cool feeling when you hit a curb and you're like that felt different <laughs> and by that i mean i felt like it didn't bother it you know like it bumps up in such a nice way now so yeah, the whole truck's got about three inches more travel. It's just a simple four inch in the back, about three in the front. One and a half out on each end. And I was going to get rid of it because I'm not doing the construction anymore. It started as a work truck. I was like, come on, I could sell this. I could do a lot with this, the value of this. But um, we want to keep it at least till we get married and get a little trailer and do a road trip. I'll take care of it. I take really good care of it now. I do an oil change today, actually. It was part of the dig. I don't mind people seeing my plate. I mean, you could look that crap up anyway. And um, truck came. These I added, but it did come with the dirt liner, so that's awesome. I gave, it a, I gave the truck a tattoo to match my tattoo. So I wanted me in the truck to have matching tattoos, so I did that. Um, wheels are, you know what? These are the wheels and tires that came with the truck. And for basically coming with it second hand, I can't complain. I wish I had different wheels. I do wish, you know, I had a little more rubber, a little less rim. They are 18s. It's very hard to fit 17s on here, but. Home on to usability, I'm not into flash. I also put, just to block these holes that would have let a lot of water in, I put some aluminum there, which looks kind of cool. I plan on doing some sort of skid plate system and just a brush guard for the suspension so it's not always getting hammered. And uh, maybe even some window decals, but it's pretty it's pretty basic and clean, but also like, you know, a little personal, put a little flag on the antenna. First, first car I've ever modified, so it's quite an endeavor. Yeah, 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 ruffling the thing right next to me, killing my audio. As that, I don't know if I'm gonna get all the mini backlog of editing stuff done. Now's the time with everyone home, so there might be some new videos. If I don't have all the 
truck stuff in this video maybe i'll throw it in the next one if it gets too long and other than that i'll still be building pcs for anyone who needs one like there's no reason i can't do that um yeah look forward to game stuff it's gonna be an affordable game i'm hoping you know i'm also hoping just for the sake to get it out there quicker to make it episodic um and if that's the case you know it'll be even cheaper per episode uh, my main influence is Chrono Trigger from the Super Nintendo, since that's the art style I'm going to be doing. And we're looking forward to making an original character 3D game for uh, the Oculus and Rift. We have a really good character in mind, and my daughter's going to do the voice of her, Claire Clementine. Claire Clementine is going to be our main character, because VR needs, VR needs a mascot. Yeah, yeah. And Claire Clementine is badass she will be yeah we can't tell you too much um yet other than it's gonna it's a really good idea for a vr game that we we kind of spent a couple of months thinking about it and thinking like are we crazy or is this this good an idea worth it we'll see kind of i like this shot kind of <laughs> oh, look at that. That always catches my eye. I realized I never did a video of this computer. I was working on it and working on it and kept improving stuff and changing stuff. And I just never said done, and we all just started using it. Um, a little dusty, but I mean, this has been running for about a year, right, T? Uh, yeah, um, And I should have taken out the blue, but it's that awesome EK blue, and its temperatures are freaking amazing. The highest it ever gets is the 50s under really uh, heavy loads. That's a... Uh, Old School Founders 1080, Just simple, got it used, I uh, believe an 8-core AMD 1800, overclocked, everything's really overclocked, past 4, I forget what it's at, RAM's at like about 3,000, yeah, yeah, it's got the light-up fancy RAM to match the water, I did some carbon fiber accents, and then I just, I never posted it. <laughs> The reason it actually has two reservoirs is because the original reservoir mounting location, the way I ran it, it wouldn't actually fill. So I had to turn the case on its side and add this reservoir so that it would fill correctly. And then just like, this is like, just like excess, but it still, it still moves. It looks like it's not moving. It's moving just because it's, the pump's going slow right now. You can see it. But I'm sure it's time for a, uh. This, this thing got clogged like they always do, you know. They always... Come on, buddy. Come on. Nah, he's done. Um, fans are a little loud. I should have went with quieter fans if I'm water cooling. Thing gets dusty. I'd like to do something about that. Maybe put some rubber in the edge. You know, I didn't, I didn't really design this case. I just modded it. I did do the cutout in the back, of course, for the vertical graphics card and kind of cover everything neat from there. Um, I, you know, it's, I've had the distilled water for a while now to clean it out, and I'm like, eh. You can see those channels are pretty much open. I certainly don't get anywhere near high temps, and I went, I went stupid overkill and put every radiator I had in this, so you got a 280, a 120 that shouldn't fit there. I did some mods to get to fit, and this is actually a 360, but only with two fans, because the third, you couldn't get the, uh, graphics card plugged in correctly or anything done there so it actually only has two hand fans but it is a 360 so pretty excessive um doesn't you know i should have just i should really get quieter fans because it doesn't um get hot at all it could just be silent and slow pumping and not care you know about the slightly inhibited flow and i'd say every single one of us use that every day it's our vr rig it's our main VR rig, you know, right in front of the TV. Uh, it's plugged into our TV and at least one, like, good monitor all the time. And It's our last normal computer, I guess you could say. Because <laughs> that's normal, right? Well, this isn't normal. This isn't normal at all. I mean, in a very good way. This is, I love this thing. I really, I, wa I want to, so I've talked about this, and when my life gets, you know, healthier and I get a response and... It seems that people weren't as crazy about this as they were about the Pelican case. And the Pelican cases are very expensive and very hard to reproduce. I mean, I'm game, but when I tell people, like, look, it's going to be, like, five to 700 before you buy any PC components, you know, just the chassis and the thing, they're like, eh, I'm shipping out in two weeks. 
I need it now. And I'm like, dude, I can't. Ah, ah, I can't. Let me roll. Ah, two. Yeah, not going to work. Not going to work out. <laughs> so what else? Coronavirus. Uh, fun stuff. We play magic. I don't know if you already picked up on that. If there's any magic fans among my subscribers. We just got the unsanctioned. We're all about comedic magic. Uh, and Commander. We play a lot of Commander. Is all my like foils and legends and blah, blah, blahs. Because, um, you know, eventually you hurt your eyes on the screen. And you want to do something with paper cards. That's my X-Men. One of my favorite comics. Love the X-Men. Big X-Men fan. And my other big one. Where is he? Where's my boy? My other favorite comic. My other, other favorite. Where is it? Where's my little silver surfer picture? Oh, man. It's like when you realize something's missing, you know? Whoa. That's, that's really my favorite comic was the silver surfer. And my favorite character. I'm a, bi I'm a big silver surfer fan. No, that's not the issue. It's just a framed thing or I'd be rich. You're up in here? I didn't even realize you were home. You're so quiet. I didn't even realize you were home. You were so quiet. Oh, hi. Hi. Why are you coming up my room? We're doing a tour. Oh, don't show my room. It's a disaster. I just show a little bit. It's not that bad, actually. Ah, it's pretty bad. You better clean up. Why are you in bed, you lazy girl? Because I'm watching TV. You got headphones on? Look, I, I gave her four computers, and she does this. This is what We're actually going to give her a computer to room eventually. She's pretty crazy responsible so far with the internet and such. So that little one in my room is hopefully going in her room when we rebuild it into something neat and pink for her and blue. The desk that's covered down there is probably going to go up there and that's going to stay where it is unless someone wants to buy it. I might, I might sell that guy because that's not like a prototype I need. That I need is a prototype. I'm going to, I want to do more of those. I'd like to do a Kickstarter product run someday. We don't need four PCs. We have three desktops and a laptop. That's, that's insane, and the only reason we do is because, like, in the last three years, I built about 30, 40 PCs, so I kind of built a few for myself along the way to learn and experiment, you know. This was actually supposed to be a hardline system, and I don't know what happened at the last minute. I think I just had too much on my plate. So I've still not really actually tackled hardlining, but I just, this is so damn convenient for switching parts, the soft tubing. I think the way I have it laid out looks pretty cool, swooping in front of the card. It's a really weird layout, this system, so I just did the best I could for uh, looks plus efficiency. Right, this is a seven-minute video. It's getting too long. Say goodbye. Polytech Gaming, Polytech Computer Mind, over and out.